Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Sprinter Limited 330KBS. This is a very unique floor plan. You kind of have a pseudo front living room here with a kitchen bar setup, huge bathroom and washer dryer prep in the back. This is one amazing couple's model. We'll start right up front in the very nose and you will see this one has the tri-fold sofa. The thing I like about this is it creates a nice place to sit and have conversation as well as a secondary bed. So if you have guests that need to stay the night, even though this is a couple's model, you can still accommodate them. On both sides, you have end tables with electrical outlets. You will see the front facing window. We'll take a look at that when we go outside. I do have it shut just for camera quality purposes, but you'll see it has a roller blind and that is, with, that is in a track because it is on a slight angle. That way it's not swinging forward on you. You also have windows on both sides. Those do open for cross ventilation and storage all the way across the top. Now the reason that this is so open in here is because you have dual opposing slides. On the one side, you have the theater seating. It's the Thomas Paine collection. It is quite comfortable. Both of these do recline back and it is straight across from the TV. And if you've seen my videos before, I've definitely mentioned this is the ideal setup when it comes to kicking back and relaxing. You'll see cup holders here as well as a place for your remotes. Now, as I mentioned, if we shoot straight across, you will see that entertainment center, 50 inch TV here, folks. So it's plenty large to be able to see it from the theater seats or from the sofa. Sound bar underneath with great sound quality. You'll see the HDMI port in there. Also, it is dual zone for uh, the speakers inside as well as the speakers outside. Directly underneath that is your electric fireplace, which not only looks great, but is also a space heater. Making our way back a little bit. So this one has the kitchen bar area. And as I mentioned, for couples, I think this is perfect. At least for me, like this is ideal. I don't need a dinette. I don't need a, an entire table. This is absolutely perfect. It'll just be the two of us sitting here eating. Uh, you know, if, if it was just my wife and I, I think this would be great. You'll see the decorative pillar that they have here. You have kind of like the high top bar stools. Uh, and then on the back side, you will see you have auxiliary lighting there as well as an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug anything else in, you can do so. The high rise residential faucet, it is two tone, kind of gives it uh, you know, a little more uh, upscale kind of modern look. And it also helps blend in with the sink top cover, helps everything match. This, do, this does just roll up and away, uh, but essentially it's a drying rack. So that way, you know, done doing dishes, put them right on there, perfect. Solid surface countertops in here, which allows for an undermount stainless steel sink. It is a single bowl, but it is a large bowl, so you can easily do, uh, easily wash and rinse your dishes. Now the rest of the kitchen is right across the way here. You'll see uh, in this slide out, it's the same slide out that shares the entertainment area, microwave up top, hood underneath, your range underneath that, it is recessed with the glass cover, which of course just folds up and back. You also have the decorative backsplash there. When you fold that up, you'll see the three burners, the knobs do light up, and you have an oven underneath if you want to do some baking. Last piece I do want to touch on are the two fridge freezers in here, folks. You have a ton of cold storage. You can open it up and take a look there. You can see plenty of room, which is absolutely fantastic. These units do run off both propane and electric and also have automatic switchover. Now, they did use the kind of redesigned Dometic fridges here, and, and I'm going to be honest, it is a little tough to get your fingers in on, uh, if you're opening just one. I kind of recommend going like from the top to be able to push down. Once one side's open, it's pretty easy, but uh, it, it is a little bit of a trick to be able to kind of uh, operate those with the newer style fridge. If we take a look here, kind of midship, you will see that you have the big countertop space. Again, solid surface. A lot of manufacturers would, you know, chintz out here and just put in a laminate, but they did not. You'll see an electrical outlet there as well. And then this one is Wi-Fi capable. So if you want cellular signal, uh, you can essentially get a monthly package. That way you have Wi-Fi as long as you have cellular signal. You see storage there up top as well as an additional drawer right down below. Speaking of storage, if we take a look on this wall, we'll open this up. This is basically your main pantry space. You saw, you know, in the rest of the kitchen, there wasn't a ton of storage. So this is the majority of it here. And along with that, you get three drawers. The bottom one here you will see is quite large. 
Your main control panel is tucked away right over on this side. You will also notice that you have the remote, which will let you control your awning as well as your slides when you're outside. Make sure you're not going to hit anything. And then your thermostat is located on this wall. This does control both your ducted AC as well as your heat. When we step into the bathroom, you will instantly be blown away, not just by the sheer size, but all the amenities that come with it. I love, absolutely love, they're able to fit a double vanity in a travel trailer. It's not something you see very often, and I, at least at home, folks, a double vanity is a marriage saver. Uh, you know, that way my wife and I can both get ready at the same time. Huge countertop space here, electrical outlet right in between. Both people will get the mirrored medicine cabinet there, another electrical outlet over on this side, and of course, storage underneath. You'll also see the stainless steel bowl, so a little bit nicer bathroom bowls than we've seen in other models. On the other side of the bathroom, we'll start with the shower. Neo-angle shower with roller doors. That way, when you're done showering, all the water goes right down the door into the shower pan, doesn't end up on your floor. Also, as far as height, folks, I'm six foot tall. As you see, I have room here, and I have even more space underneath that skylight. So even if you're 6'3", probably 6'4", you can still shower in there without having to bend down. You'll see the linen closet right here above the toilet, so plenty of room for towels, all your other bathroom accessories, and the toilet itself is right underneath that. We step into the master bedroom. You do have two doors to close that off for uh, you know, privacy in case you do have guests up front. You will see the bed here in the back, plenty of storage underneath. I'll open that up for you. You'll see that it is strut supported as well, so it is very easy to lift. You have windows on both sides, as well as small little nightstands. Nothing huge there, uh, but you know it's, it is better than nothing. Storage across the top as well, and of course this bed is in a slide out. You'll see we have a second AC for the bedroom area. Uh, this one is an option, so that way you know if you want to keep it nice and cool, the controls for this one are on the AC itself. If you want a TV in the bedroom, it'll mount on this wall. The connections for that are right up top dresser here at the foot of the bed and you will see your secondary entrance uh, when we go outside we'll take a look at the steps both of them have this step system i can't open it all the way up because i have another rv that's too close you can see that there so i have it opened up just enough to be able to show you the extra storage space here more importantly if you take a look over to the side you will see that this one has washer and dryer prep so if you want if you're looking for a travel trailer with washer and dryer, it's not super easy to find all the time. This unit does have that. Uh, also, right here in the back, you kind of have the almost fifth wheel style wardrobe. We have the two big sliding glass doors, shelf up top, and the hanging rod underneath. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Sprinter 330 KBS. Right up front here is a powered tongue jack. This makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. So all I have to do is flip the rocker switch to raise and lower the tongue. You also have a light up front for added visibility. Behind that, you have two 30 pound propane tanks. It's larger than 20s that a lot of manufacturers give. So that's great, that way you can stay out longer, you have more heat. Uh, and you know can cook longer things like that Right behind that you will see rails for your battery as well as a battery disconnect located here So that way if you need to kill all power to the coach you can flip that you don't have that parasitic drain on there You also see the diamond plating coming across the front helping to protect that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle Above that is the front three-quarter cap. It is absolutely gorgeous with the in, uh, windshield inlaid right up front. You can also see the LED light strip there going across the top of that, but that lets in a ton of natural light during the day. And if you have a beautiful view out the front, you can certainly enjoy that. Making our way around to the side, you will see that the more ride steps. Again, as I mentioned, we have two of these, one here, another one in the back. If you haven't seen these steps before, they're great. They're extremely sturdy. I'm over 200 pounds. You can see I can walk up and down on these, kind of hop on them. They don't flex. Also aluminum treads, which aren't going to rust on you, and grip tape for some added traction. You also have the foldable grab handle here, so that way you have more control when entering the RV. We take a look above the door, we see the large awning. A couple things I like about this awning. One is the fact that speakers are built into the head itself, 
So that way when the awning is extended, the music is playing down on the campsite rather than blasting out at your neighbors. It also has an LED light strip on there. The thing I like is the size of it. It covers both entrances. And if you notice, folks, you don't have any vents on this side. The kitchen is on the other side, so the fridge vent is over there. The furnace vent is over there. So even though you have a slide out on the camp side, you still have excellent usable camp space, which is something that's fairly rare when you get that campside slide. You'll also uh, see right up here, or right uh, in the middle, is your black tank flush. So that way if you need to wash out your black tank, rather than having to stick a hose down your toilet, simply take the hose, plug it in right there, sprayers are built in and they will wash it out for you. Dropping down, the wheels are aluminum alloy and just like the step treads, those aren't going to rust. They'll stay looking beautiful for years to come. If you take a look right in between, you will see the Road Armor Suspension System, which essentially utilizes a rubber composite to help take out uh, a lot of the road vibration as well as the potholes when traveling down the road. So that way things aren't shifting around as much inside the travel trailer and hopefully things won't be broken when you get to your campsite. You'll see outside water access in the form of a spray port. This is just cold water, but it is on the campsite, making it very convenient. If you need to wash off your feet, you know, if you went to the beach and they're all sandy or something before you enter your camper, I like having it on the campsite. Also an outside electrical outlet. You know, they are pretty close, so make sure you're not uh, spraying water in the electrical outlet there. But it is always, again, nice to have the electrical outlet outside. So as I mentioned, this is the secondary entrance. This is the one that goes into the bedroom. Same style steps, little bit smaller grab handle, but because of the proximity of this camper, uh, I'm not able to fold those steps completely open to show you. So we make our way around to the back. Square tubular bumper with end caps here, which give you a very convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. Mounted to that is the spare tire with a cover, so that'll stay in great shape. Also, you will notice the rear mounted ladder that we can climb up onto the fully walkable roof. Uh, also, as we're up top, you will see this one has backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. Now, if you've noticed, this one doesn't have a pass-through storage up front. The majority of the storage is here in the back. If I have to fault this floor plan for one thing, it probably is the lack of exterior storage, but we do have this storage area here and a little more on the other side I'll show you in just a moment. I do want to show you this. This one has power stabilizer jacks. There's a control in the front for the front two. This one right here will control the rear two. 50 amp detachable power cord. This one has two AC units plus a fireplace. You're definitely going to want a 50 amp there. And as we open this up, as I mentioned, you can see this is the majority of your storage space. Now, it is a very large storage space, but it shares that same storage as the, uh, the storage I showed you underneath the bed. So when you pop that bed up, you have access either from inside or right here. And right up front on the off door side. So this is that other control for your front two stabilizer jacks. Solar prep, so if you want solar, you just have to buy portable panels, plug it in right there and it'll trickle charge your battery. Your two water connections, your fresh tank fill being right up top and your city water inlets right underneath. And lastly, right in front of that is your key TV system. So if you have cable at your campsite, you can simply hook that up there. Or if you have satellite, you can hook your satellite dish up there and it will feed to the TV inside. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Sprinter Limited 330KBS. If you're interested in this beautiful couple's model and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.